Hello everyone, this is Samanvita and welcome to the series solving SQL interview questions. In this series, we'll be covering four SQL interview questions that were asked at Amazon, Netflix, Uber and Google. Before we go ahead and start solving these SQL interview questions, there's something that I'd like to introduce you to first and that is three-step approach for solving any SQL interview questions. Generally, in an interview, you're not always expected to give the correct answer, but the interviewer would like to know what is the approach that you have tried for solving a particular problem. And this is where our three-step approach might help you. Step one of our approach is understanding the inputs and the outputs. Do not jump into solving the query as soon as you see the question. Understand what are the inputs that you should be using and what are the outputs that your final result should be containing. Step two, articulate your solution verbally. Once you've decided what are the inputs and the outputs, explain your interviewer what is the approach verbally. Get a confirmation of your understanding and then start writing your query. Step three, construct the query step by step. Once you've decided what are the inputs and the outputs, once you've gotten a confirmation of your approach, break down your SQL query into steps and print out the results of these intermediate queries and then improve your final result. So now that you've gotten an idea on how to approach an SQL interview question, let's go ahead and solve one. As you can see on the screen, the platform that we'll be using in the entire series for solving the interview questions is known as the Strata Scratch. And if you look at the screen on the left side, you can see the questions and all the required information that you need to know. And on the right side, you can start writing the query. Now make sure that you're signed into stratascrash.com before you actually run the code or else you'll not be able to run the code. Unfortunately, you'll not be able to check whether the solution is correct or wrong, but we'll be sharing all the required links for practice and to check whether your solution is correct or wrong down in the description. So do not worry much about it. Let's take a look at the question now. Find IDs of companies that have more than two users who speak English, German, French or Spanish. So according to our approach, our first step is to understand the inputs and the outputs clearly. Now for me to understand the inputs clearly, I need to know what are the columns present in the table playbook users. If you scroll down, you will see the inputs that are given to you, which is user ID, created at company ID, language, activated at and state. Now among these, what should be my inputs and how will I know that by reading the question clearly, which is find IDs of the companies. So I need to use the company ID that have more than two users. So when they're talking about users, which means I'll also have to use user ID who speak English, German, French, and Spanish. So I don't see any columns with respect to this, but I can see that there is a column known as language. So I now need to filter out these languages from the column language. So what are my inputs? Company ID, user ID, and the language. Now, what are my outputs? Since the questions only simply states find the IDs of the companies, my output will only simply be company ID. So my inputs are company ID, user ID, language, and my output is only simply company ID. Now, the step two of our approach is explain your approach verbally. Now that you've understood what are the inputs and the outputs, you now have to explain to your interviewer what is the approach. If you look at the question, it says find the IDs of the company. So they want you to find for each company, which means you have to use a group by clause known as company ID. And then since they're talking about that have more than two users, they want to perform some aggregation function in this case, which is count. So you're going to have to perform an aggregation function count for finding out more than two users. And since they want it for each company, you'll have to do something called as group by for each company who speak XYZ languages. So you now need to filter out these languages from the column language. So one operator that comes to my mind as soon as I'm checking for a string value is in. So I'm going to check whether this particular language is present in the language column or not for that particular user. Now that I've explained my approach to my interviewer verbally, the third step is basically constructing my query step by step. And that's what I'm going to do now. The first step of constructing my query is filtering out the users who are speaking the languages X, Y, Z. Select, since my output should only contain company ID, I'm only going to give company ID from the table playbook users where language in I'm going to give English 
German, French and Spanish. So I'm just going to run this code. Okay, now it's showing me all the company IDs where these languages are presenting. But since I want for each company ID, I'm going to do group by company ID. Great. Now the clauses, they want the users who are more than two in number. And this is where I'm going to use my having clause, having count of user ID greater than two. And now a company might contain like multiple entries. I want distinct user ID, unique user ID. And I'm going to say since this said it has to have more than two, I'm saying greater than two and then executing my query. And it says there is some error which says having count of. Oh, seems like I have a typo here. So I'm going to say distinct. And then I'm going to run my code. And there you go. So these are the companies where there are more than two users who speak the languages English, German, French and Spanish. So this is how we approach in solving an SQL query. So keep three things in mind, which is basically understanding your inputs and outputs, explaining your approach verbally. Third thing is constructing your query step by step. That's it for this video, guys. I will see you next time. Bye.